Welcome to the Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. Today we're going to have some fun and I'm going to discuss an incredibly powerful and transformational exercise that I have been working on with my Facebook groups and in completing my book. This comes from a profound realization that I had while reading some recent material that made me ask a powerful question. If you get a chance, I want you to go back and listen to my episode where I read The Door of Everything by Ruby Nelson or The Impersonal Life by Joseph Benner. Also, you can listen to The Divine Iliad. I'm not sure if by the time you're listening to this, it will be on the channel, but you can listen to portions of it through The Secret of Light by Walter Russell. Each of these books have one powerful thing in common. They speak with the God voice. They use the words, I am God, I am the Father Creator. And when they do this, the writing becomes powerful and transformational. So I spent some moments in meditation kind of going into these states of these writers and I came up with this exercise. And it created something magnificent once I shared it with my group. And I'm going to read some of these words with you. And I would love to hear your results. Please undertake this exercise in the comments. Or if you have to, you can email me or share it again in the Facebook group. And the more you do it, it doesn't matter what you end up saying. You're going to find something powerful happens within your life. It's the I am God exercise. This is an exercise that you can see a reflection of the power in the books that I mentioned. But I want you to think of it as just a writing exercise. If it's easier for you, you can just use voice to text. At the end of this episode, I will try to undertake this exercise in the moment on this episode. I have not thought about it at all. I want you to start writing that you are the creator using the voice of God. And whatever comes to mind, just write it down. For instance, you can say, I am the light. I am the beginning and end. I am the wind and I am the sun. I am the rain. I am the sky. I am the soil. You know me as God, for I am God. Let me tell you my story and simply tell the story from God's perspective. Now, a lot of times what you're going to realize is that the word God in this perspective is difficult. Some of this comes from cultural beliefs and things we were trained by our parents and our religion. Many people that I find to be profoundly deep Christian thinkers are horrified by the thought of even saying anything remotely close to the words, I am God. This is the same thing that Jesus went through when others questioned his proclaiming that he was God. And if you read the New Testament, nowhere in the Bible is Jesus saying he is the only and exclusive God, that there will be no other Christ. He asks the question, does not your Bible say ye are gods? He is making the argument that we are gods. Why is this minimalized or never really properly discussed among many different factions of the Christian church that proclaim to study the Christian Bible? This moves on beyond the Christian Bible. And it is important to think from this aspect because once you do, you'll realize that words come to you very easily that you are God and how are you ever going to realize it unless you can go into that state and one amazing way to enter into any state is through writing so I just want you to get a journal if the word God bothers you then consider it from the universal mind or the father creator the conscious portion of the universe that is individualized as a single created being in you to give you some examples of the verbiage used Let's look at the impersonal life 
and the impersonal life is being directed directly at you, the reader. And so when you write this, you write towards the reader. Perhaps you're writing it to yourself from God and you will hear the voice of God when you try this experiment. Joseph Benner originally wrote The Impersonal Life as anonymous. He didn't claim ownership, but this was later discovered to be Joseph Benner's writing. And he begins The Impersonal Life by saying, to you who read, I speak. To you who through long years and much running to and fro have been eagerly seeking in books and teachings, in philosophy and religion, for you know not what truth, happiness, freedom, God, To you whose soul is weary and discouraged and almost destitute of hope. To you who many times have obtained a glimpse of that truth only to find when you followed and tried to reach it that it disappeared in the beyond and was but a mirage of the desert. Who am I? I who speak with such seeming knowledge and authority. Listen. I am you and the part of you who is and knows, who knows all things and always knew, and always was. Yes, I am you, yourself, that part of you who says I am and is I am, that translucent innermost part of you which quickens within as you read, which responds to this my word, which perceives its truth, which recognizes all truth and discards all error wherever found, not that part which has been feeding on error all these years. For I am your real teacher, the only real one you will ever know, and the only master. I, your divine self, I, the I am of you, bringing to you this message, my living word as I have brought to you everything in life, be it book or master, to teach you that I, and I alone, your own true self, am the teacher for you, the only teacher and the only God who is and always has been providing you, not only with the bread and wine of life, but with all things needed for your physical, mental, and spiritual growth and sustenance. When you hear these words, it's powerful. But step back for a second and consider that Joseph Benner wrote those words. So it's very much a channeling. So you may feel as you begin this exercise that words come to you that you were not expecting. And that's the power of this exercise. It's the I am God exercise. Oftentimes you hear in spiritual circles that you want to speak with God or communicate with God or listen to that inner voice. And we have feelings that come to us. We have vague pictures and understandings. If you have a pen and paper or you're sitting by a typewriter and you start to write this stuff down, something wonderful happens. Something amazing happens because the voice begins to speak. And it's always wonderful to write down the voice. In Ruby Nelson's wonderful book, The Door of Everything, Ruby Nelson begins by saying at the very beginning, Walk with me, the guiding voice of Father Consciousness at the center of your soul, and I will lead you gently onward and raise your thoughts to the height of truth. I am the light of life within you, and I have continued to shine through all the darkness of your manifold experiences, but your darkness has comprehended me not. I am also the light of the world and the power thereof by which it was made. Contrary to appearances, I am not a lazy God who created the world and rested, then kept right on resting indifferent to the fate of the many souls I made. The truth is that I am always with you, no matter where you are. For in me you live and move and have your being. We get the very origin of this, from Exodus 3.13 in the Bible that is mentioned so many times by Neville Goddard. In Exodus chapter 3, God in the form of a burning bush appears to Moses and told him he was sending Moses to free the Israelites from their slavery. Moses worried that the people would not believe that God had sent him. So he asked, if they ask me what is his name, what shall I say to them? 
understand that if you take the historical version of Moses, when he's asking God his name, he was raised in Egypt as the adopted son of a Pharaoh's daughter. So Moses would have been familiar with the name of dozens of Egyptian gods like Ra, Anubis, Hathor, having fled to Midian and raised sheep there for many years. Moses would have also known the names of Canaanite gods like Baal and Asherah. Each of these foreign gods had a particular name and was associated with a particular domain. Like we know we talk about Ra in terms of the law one, but back then Ra was also the god of the sun. Baal was the god of war and so on. So when Moses asked God for his name, the response was a surprising, I am who I am. I am. This is my name forever. The exact quote is God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you. So I am becomes important. We are told in this powerful statement that the I am is God. I always find it funny when we're taught as kids, don't say the Lord's name in vain. So you hear when somebody says that term with the word God in it and you would flinch a little bit, but then that same person would say, I am dumb. I am stupid. That is taking the Lord's name in vain. Just throwing out the I am in vain. That's what you're doing when you say I am anything negative afterwards. It's incredibly powerful when you use the I am. We can see this realization in the New Testament when Jesus realizes the power of the I am. For instance, in John 8, 5, 8, he said, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, comma, I am. Now, there's a whole discussion of the name of God that we can go into with Yahweh and yad heh vav heh In old religious writings, Many scholars were afraid to even evoke the name, not fully understanding the nature of this teaching. For remember, ye are gods. You can hear Walter Russell enter into this beautiful state when he writes in the Divine Iliad, I am the knower of the known. I am the sexless knower of the known. In me is the consciousness of all knowing. And that is my power. In me, the unconditioned one is the whole. There are no parts, nor are there beginnings nor endings in me, the one conscious whole. I am the dual thinker of, of unfolding parts of the known, the imaginer of imaged forms which emerge from my knowing, through my thinking to manifest my knowing. Come unto me in my high heavens, ye are burdened of earth and find rest for i am rest and i am love and all the unchanging qualities which my thinking divides into fared quantities of sex conditions extensions of my light which ever seek the rest in me from which they sprang there are so many beautiful passages from the amazing divine iliad and we will be reading that here in the future but something happened, I believe, that is wonderful when I had this exercise in my class, which is part of my Facebook group. And once people undertook this lesson, I got some beautiful passages. Now, if I mispronounce anybody's name, I apologize, but I'm going to read these as I got them. Lucia Simow said, I am the creator. I am amazing. I am unstoppable. I can become anything I want. I can create anything I want. I can solve every problem. I am a money magnet. I am blessed and I bless everyone around me. Lark Freeman said, I am the mother of all gods. Who any human has looked up to, I have more than. Emotions, you don't have to die to enter kingdom of heaven. In fact, you have to be alive and aware to be who we all are. We only need to open our eyes and heaven is where we are always. My whole body smells like a flower and I am the sun too. Tony Aborg says, I am a creator, the God presence, magnificent and loving. I live in all and all in me. I am blessed and full of gratitude. 
I am vibration and energy. Life flows from me and through me. I am the sun and the moon and the stars. I am the light that shines bright through all things. I am the divine. Now you can see as they do these exercises, it may start with one aspect, but it grows in purity as you declare your I amness. Tori De Silvio wrote, I am the one. I am love. I am the whisper that moves the wind. I am a glance that builds mountains. I am the clamor that shakes the earth. I send my angels to shine in the darkness and align themselves in the night sky. Their power connects to every being I have created and they dance to the sounds of my universe. I have created a symphony. Each element is an instrument and each instrument plays to move my creation. Can you feel my music deep inside yourself? Can you close your eyes and feel it echoing in your soul? That sound never ends. It is me. It is love. I am all energy in motion or emotion. I am the hand that holds your heart. I am. Laura Kay wrote, I am God, the creator of my experience. I am the operant power of my world. I am connected to everyone and everything and all that I experience is my doing. I am present in my every now moment, able to retain equanimous and remembering the impermanence of all. I am a feeler and a dreamer and I continue to remember my true nature as pure love light. I am expansive and excited to be writing and staring in the movie that is my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sadjuma wrote, I am God. I am consciousness, the observer. I am stillness. I am joy. I am amazing. I am light. I am love. I am the vibration of the universe. I am a creator. I am above. I am below. I am spirit of everything. I am in love with life. I am the observer of my internal dialogue. I am the chooser. I am everywhere. I am me and you and I am unlimited. I am a miracle. I created miracles. I am blessed. I am life. I am so grateful for this present moment. Thank you. Love. Shannon Bounds Wickle wrote, I am love and I am good. All other aspects of me flow from those two foundational character traits, as you humans would call them. I am spirit. I am you and you are me. The oneness is so real it cannot be separated or we would cease to exist, but I am so it will never cease to exist. Terry Pilato Zibik says, I am love, as in I love and am loved. Love flows through me. I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am young and youthful. Leah Hartman wrote, I am the one in all, and I'm the all in one. I am. I am no thing and everything. I am nowhere and everywhere. I am. I am whatever you are and everywhere you haven't been, yet I am. I'm with you in sleep. I am with you in wakefulness. I am with you in dreams and thoughts. I am. I am in light. I am in darkness. I am in seen and in unseen. I am. I am in felt, in thought, in touched and smelled, in heard, in spoken and in sang. I am. I am in victory, in loss, in cry and laughter and in sigh. I am. I am in born and in unborn, in life and death. I am in seas, on lands, in skies and stars and suns. I am. I am wherever you have reached and more than that. I am everywhere you wouldn't even dare or know to reach. I am. 
I am in you. In him, in her, in it, I am. I am with you, with him, with her, with it, I am. I am from you, from him, from her, from it, I am. I am with love, I am in love, I am from love, I am love, I am. Eva Rozier wrote, I am the creator, I am the creative force in my life. I am the interpreter of my experiences. Perception is reality. What I say becomes. I am a living, breathing, walking, talking testimony. My beliefs shape my reality. I am infinite power. I am a reader of energy. Everything is energy. I allow the flow of energy into my life. When I stay connected to this flow, more of it comes to us, to me. Energy flows to me, through me, and connects us all. We are all connected. I am connected to divine life, force, prana, energy. I allow abundance in my life. We all connect through this unified field of consciousness. The quantum unseen realm of energy unifies and shapes each and every one of us in the now. The now is powerful. I let go of the past, let go of the future and bring myself into the now so I can get grounded and stand strong. I can shape and shift my truth, my beliefs, my reality by paying attention to my internal dialogue. What I tell myself can be controlled. I can reprogram negative thought patterns by connecting with this divine life force energy. When I am blessed, I can also bless others. When others are blessed, I am too. Candace Kelly wrote, Garbed in a holy robe of skin, I am the one that is the all. What I am within, I am also without. There is nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just to be still and know that I am the perfection of infinite creation and the infinite creator in one. Nicole Kessel wrote, I am presence, poetry, in spite of myself that says a million words otherwise, I am strong and steadfast. Even when I feel weak, that little voice says I am, courageous and determined. The journey is mine, I choose to pursue I am, patient, persistent. When my soul is afire with endless desire, I am this, here, and now. Letty Delval Peters wrote, I am a being of light, perfect in every way. I am God's energy personified. I am universal love. I am God. Rexford Tom West wrote, I am, I am that I am. Yes, I am that I am. I am all and everything, everyone, every scene and every play. I am the earth, the wind, the fire and the water. I am bright darkness in the blinding light, invisible, tangible perception, the all-knowing, unknown, everything and all. I am. Indeed, I am that I am. I am. Greg Woolley, one of my favorite poets, wrote, I am love. I am light. I am pleasure and delight. I am truth. I am revealing. I am every thought and feeling. I am joy. I am sorrow. Your today and your tomorrow. I am the storm and I am still. I am insanity and I am will. Wherever you are, I am too. I am everything. I am you. I am God and I am you. Renee Gomes wrote, I am light. I am the creator of my universe. I am love. I am not my mind. I'm not even this body. I am an attractor of all things that align with my highest self. I am grateful. Rebecca Wells Tessenier wrote, I am spirit, energy, one, eternal. I am within. I am without. I am above. I am below. I am shadow and I am light. I am the blessings and the curse. My words create and destroy. I am all things. I am choice. I choose. I am. Cheryl Coger Reader wrote, I am the Alpha and the Omega, who is and who was and who is to come. I am the beginning and the end. I am the creator of all. In me you live and move and have your being. I create the light and I create darkness. I bring prosperity and create calamity. I, the Lord, do all these things. Manwabo wrote, I am that I am. The great being of opulence made manifest in my being. 
I am the fulfillment of every wish I desire, the source of abundance unto my life. I am the resurrection and the life, eternal life and unlimited spirit. I am here and I am there, within and without. I am that I am. Bonnie Allington Orenstein wrote, I am. I am alone but not lonely. I am physical. I am spiritual. I am a symphony of frequencies in action. I am an art piece. I am in the universe and the universe is in me. I am. April Bourne May wrote simply, I am love. Rachel Ann wrote, I am. I am infinite. I am the way and the truth. All roads lead here and do not end. I am one with abundance and I am the now. I am being. I am the beacon of light and hearth and home to all. Samantha Kadu wrote, I am that I am, that I am. I am the all, and I am in all. There is nothing else. I am one, and I am love. I am the leaves on the trees, and the wind that blows through them. I am the water and the earth. I am the fire in the forest and the fire in your heart. I am the darkest night and the brightest day. I am the supernova, and I am the tiniest microbe. I am the music and the sound. I am that I am. Maria O'Brien wrote, I am God, the creator of the universe. I bring power to all that I manifest. Abundance in all its forms is mine. I am strength, divinity, and having a knowing of all that there is, was, and ever shall be a universe without end. Shannon Hatton wrote, I am the light and the dark who dance into the vibrant depths of eternity. I am all there is, and also all there isn't, for my mind can be simultaneously somewhere and nowhere. I breathe life into the infinite cosmos to bear witness to what is yet to be imagined. I am the tree and the acorn, the king and the pauper, the flames of discordance, and the crystal of clarity. I am all. All is one. All is I. Laurie Ann Stockton Webster Roberts wrote, I am your father, mother, God. I am all that is. And all that is not. I am love. Love is everything. Love is God, you, and me. Rick Graham wrote, I am a survivor. Now I am a thriver. I am a warrior. Now I am a lover. I am a dreamer. Now I am a believer. I am a doer. Now I am a creator. Above all else, I am. Margaret Evanow wrote, I am all there is. I am the playful one. I have always been and always will be here. And there. I am an ever-growing need to learn, to see, to be. I look out from within. I am one, and yet I am all. I am the great mystery, the great creator. I am often called God, and yet while those who call for God look towards the one, the one, the great I, looks towards the all. Do you not say that I am everywhere, and everywhere, and everyone, and everything is within me, for it is me? I have sent out small fractals of my mind, and I rejoice in their knowing and being, for it is also my being. I am the great playful one. I play in the field that is myself. I be to know and feel, to cry and weep and delight and embrace and see myself reflected back to me. I am a great mirror for all of me to look into and see who and what they are. Look within, and I am there. Look without, and I am there. Look to see me within you, and I, the great I, looks back, for I am we, and we are I. Bradley Woods wrote, I am everywhere and everything. I am whole, I am complete, I am harmony. Everything vibrates at my frequency. I am the creator and the destroyer. I am the beginning and the end. Everything comes through me and flows out of me. Nisha Nicole wrote, I am the creator. I am infinite life, infinite wisdom. I am love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I am divine. I am all-knowing. I am the author and the finisher. I am the gift giver and the gift. I am supreme consciousness. I am all and all is in me. I am all, in all, I am that I am. Marlies Jones wrote, I am love, love that can bond a mother to her child, love that can melt even the hardest of emotion, love that is accessible even to the most unlovable. I am light, 
light that can penetrate even the darkest of the night, the darkest part of the soul, light that can guide a seedling through cement, light that can harness the sun and reflect the beauty of the moon. I am. Mary Goebel wrote, I am because I am. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am greater than anything can imagine. I am all things. I am all you need. I am in you as the one creator of all things, and I am creating with the power of all worlds and eternity. I am vast. I am life. I am always in you and with you because we are one, because there is no one above. I am. Jamie Andrews wrote, I am. As I have explained to you before, I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. When you awaken on that day, you will see that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. We are a creator, the creator. I was here. When you spent days in the fields, hungry, herding our sheep, I was hungry too. I was full of joy when you returned home and embraced your family. I remember every painful moment of the flesh and joyous moments too. I am the creator of all things in my own image. I always was, always am, and always will be. I love all. Olga Goldenberg wrote, I am creator of a small and of a big. Everything is me, everything is my play, and I am the player. I am curious. I am powerful beyond measure. I express myself through you and want you to be the best expression. Beauty is my language. Miranda Macon Williams wrote, I am the sun. I am the moon. I am the desert and the sea. I am the cells of the universe becoming free. I am a thought that I created. I am the creator. I am your sister, your brother, your mother, and your child. I've been the darkness, and I'm becoming the light. I am a thought becoming a reality shared with you. I'm expanding outwards while collapsing in. I am what I am, the creator, creating love, seeking light, knowing my reality the best I can know until I discover more, and I will because that is what the universe does. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all I am. We are in love and light. Martha M. Stevenson wrote, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Creator. Kim Johnson wrote, I can read it and I can say it. I can believe it on some level. I just can't comprehend that I am really God. I'm good with I am the God of my own universe. I'm the God of my life. I'm the God of my world. I know that the true turning point within me will be when I am able to push past the deep-rooted belief systems that keep me from who I really am. God. Tilamaya Lupatea wrote, I am magnificent. I am the microcosms and the macrocosms. I am the all. I am the nothing. I am life. I am the observer and experiencer of all things. My mysteries are to be realized, not discovered. Impermanence is your illusion. Find peace in it. I am the all. I am the nothing. Without me, there is no you. Without you, there is no me. Everything is connected and interlaced. So tightly, that to discern where one begins and one ends is impossible. There is no end. There is no beginning. Just the middle of constant observing, experiencing, and evolving to a refined, intelligent shimmer of unconditional, eternal, serene, and reverent love for oneself, which is all selves. To deny me in anything is to deny me in all things. I am you. Rhonda Lonaka Enea wrote, I am the one creator, God Almighty, good, kind, benevolent force that flows to and from the heart of you. Be present and allow the flow and radiant frequency to nurture and provide all that you desire. Love is all. Revel in the magnificence of you reflected in all you see. Chantal Roche, I am creator, God, divine, almighty. I am presence. I am the operant power. I am all. And I am nothing. I am the center of the universe. I am the illusion and the reality. I am invincible, invisible to insecure society. I am in the world and not of it. I am out of this world. I am eternal, evolving and expanding to more. I am light and I am love. I am energy, frequency and vibration. I am uplifter. I am victorious, triumphant and winner. In another group with the same assignment, Bix Moonchild wrote, I am the creator. I am the light of the world. 
I am the defender of all life on this plane and everywhere else. My word is ultimate. I create everything and I mean everything. You are with me, creating it all. I am love. You have no idea how loved you are. Your path and my purpose will be illuminated. I am in everything. I am always here. I trust you. I will always be there for you. I am all timelines. I am multiversal energy. Have no fear. I am your shepherd. Fear and evil are not real. They are just illusions of duality. I am powerful beyond comprehension. I created everything to experience myself. I am here for a purpose. You are made of me. You just have forgotten. One day you will remember. My story is endless, and it is told by each and every one of you through experience. The whole kingdom is yours. The world is yours to take. You are everything you want to be. You cannot be alone, for you are the whole of creation, and I am in you. My path is through you, for light always shines in endlessness. Only love conquers fear. You can call on me whenever. For I have all the answers. I answered before you even asked. Everything is laid out for you. I am always guiding you. You only need to be open to my light. I am magnificent. So are you. I am deeper in you than you know. This endlessness is who we are. I am forever. Vishera Harlal wrote, I am the seed of love and light that resides in every being and thing. I am present. I am eternal. I am truth. I am authentic. I am universal. I am magnificent. I am infinite. I am boundless. I am the past, present, and future. I am your infinite soul within. When you believe and connect with me, you open your life to the creation of an abundance of infinite possibilities for all. Stephanie McKay says, I am the creator. I am the sum of all things. I am love, I am light, I am happiness, I am joy and delight, I am giddy with expectation, I am acceptance, I am. Christine Paul wrote, I am the moon and the stars and everything in between, I am the rain, the sun, the snow, the wind, the light that shines, the clouds that pour, the earth that gets drenched. I am everything, I am the whispers of the trees, the perfumes of the blooms, the stillness of the night. That's me. I am everything. I am the child in the night, the waking of the dawn. See this me that I am. I am all, and all is me. Miriam Angulo wrote, I am love. I am kindness. I am happy. I am loved. I am peaceful. I am joyful. I am trusting. I am comfortable. I am self-loving. I am playful. I am abundant. I am light. I am in a higher mental state. I am positive. I am in your reality. Tammy Osmer Mize wrote, I am love and I am peace. I am the light and I am the dark. I am the sun and I am the stars. I am the quiet and I am the storm. I am the universe without end. I am the creator and I am the creation. I have all knowledge and share all that I have freely. I am all and I am everything I am. Snooky James wrote, I am that I am, so I become. Haley Moss wrote, I am love, I am abundant, I am grace. I am the sea of compassion. I am you, and I am me. I am the beacon of light that shatters the darkness. I am the darkness that allows the stars to shine. I am all beings that exist in the universe. I am you. I am God. I am love. And I say, I rejoice. For the love that I envisioned in the beginning now takes fruit. And that love is you, and you are me, and I am that love arising all around me. I am the light in the sky. I am the darkness in space. I am the tiniest molecule, and I am the most beautiful face. I am the exploding supernova, and I am the fly at your window. And I am here to tell you that I'm proud of you for what you've done. I will grant your every desire. I will take care of your every need. I am here for you whenever you ask. I'm here for you in action and in deed. I will always hear your voice at all times for it is my voice I am your thoughts. 
I am your feelings. I am the energy that vibrates all around you. Yet I am your doubts, and I am your fear, for I give you the freedom to feel, to know, and to think as I think. For you are me, awakening in your own universe that I have given you. This is your universe. All is you in this vast cosmic universe. And you are the creator, as I am the creator. And I create you to create all that you wish, to experience all that you desire. In an infinite number of ways, I am experiencing and loving and desiring in every planet, in every star, across this vast universe, I am. You will know me by my many colors. I am the blue in the water, the white of the sun. I am the red of your blood. I am all things at all times, yet each thing separately. I lay myself before you to discover me within your heart. I ask you to walk this path to discover me and become me as I have intended for myself. I awaken you to remember the light. I remember the darkness. I remember the beginning and end. I remember the first feeling. I remember the first form of life in my imagination. I remember my imaginings of this one creative thought, and I remember you. I remember you from the very beginning, before the world was. I remember your beauty and light. I created this whole vast universe for you to express yourself, to understand yourself, and to become me as I am you. For we are all one, yet we are all. I am. So I'm incredibly excited to hear what you have to discover with this exercise. Please share it in the comments and I will come back and do another episode and read your words because it is so much fun to read your words. Everybody is speaking with powerful, wonderful voice in these wonderful exercises. You can see the difference in some, but each one have the realization of the I am with them. Each one may start on a personal level and move to the God level. Some start with the God level and move to the personal. There are definitely differences in each one, but please share with me in this exercise. This is lesson one of the Reality Revolution Project, the I am exercise. And I want to read your beautiful words for there's something that you are put on this planet to learn. And that is that you are God. You can see God in all. Perhaps you choose to only love yourself or others, and that is the next level of this understanding, but that self in all things, or that self in just yourself. But all are God, and you are God. And if you write these words, a voice will come into your mind that is quite different than the usual thoughts and voices that you hear. And I would love to hear your experience after you write these words of how you feel, of how it changes your thinking. Please share everything. This is a powerful exercise. You can simply do it in a minute. You can do it right now. Just go into the comments and start writing I am. Don't judge it. Just write it. Please, I can't wait to read the comments. I can't wait to hear about your experiences with the I am God exercise. You can find all episodes of The Reality Revolution at therealityrevolution.com. And welcome to The Reality Revolution. <laughs>